spectators from near and far in awe of street artist Banksy's latest work, this massive mural on Bowery and East Houston Street in Manhattan. I think it's really great. We love street art and we love the political aspect of just this kind of work and it's awesome. The world famous graffiti artist from Britain has never revealed his identity, only posting limited information about his art on social media, saying the hash marks and girls face behind bars protest the imprisonment of Turkish artist and journalist Zera Dogan, who was jailed for painting a Turkish flag flying above a destroyed city. It's so simple but very powerful. I, I like it. I like it very much. It's only been up for a few days and already tagged by another street artist, which often happens to his work. But in other cases, it sells for millions to high profile collectors like Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt. And here on West 14th Street and 6th Avenue, a more discreet piece. Take a look at the top of this abandoned building. There is a rat inside this clock. Many people have been walking by, not noticing anything new. Anything different about this corner this morning? I noticed that they put a, a new parking way there. What about up there? Oh. An aha moment that the more elusive Banksy pieces often elicit, leaving the meaning up to interpretation. It's the rat race. It's how capitalism has taken over New York City and how they're destroying. I think this building is getting torn down for condos, so they're destroying uh, old historic buildings for pure profit. It's always the simplicity of its work. It's always the honesty of his work that catches you, you know? The impromptu artist seems to turn anything he wants into his canvas, and it's unclear if he gets permission for his work, but people we spoke to don't mind one bit. I love it. I wish he'd come back. Fans now walking the streets with a watchful eye, but only time will tell when and where he'll make his mark next. In Manhattan, Rena Roy, TV 1055.